Horn and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I am Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and a life and career coach for actors just like you. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instafam? I'm live on Facebook. What's up, Facebook? Uh, listen, tonight's episode... As we wrap up the launch of Bookmore TV, it's been my signature course. I've been talking about it for weeks. It closes in like four hours. So I was like, let me pop on one more time to also set the tone for where we're going in the next few weeks dealing with pilot season. So we're diving into an episode of Actors Daily Bread, episode 210. And this episode is called How to Handle Pilot Season with No Auditions. <laughs> So stay tuned. Listen, this is your first time watching. Put one in the comments so I can officially welcome you. Uh, because again, this is episode 210, which means you have hundreds, literally, of episodes to catch up on. So all my OG members, put OG in the comments. You know we've been doing this for a minute just so I can honor you. So all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. What's up, Tamika? What's up, Rose? What's up, Co played by Corey? Come on, Dominique in the house. Gloria, Lucia, Diego, come on in the room. Good evening. Yes, yeah, so every Wednesday, in case you're new to me on Instagram, at actress Christine Horn, I do a Work With Me Wednesday. I take you with me throughout my whole day on Wednesday as I work. Oh, you are one, Rose, perfectly? Well, come on, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're a one and you have never seen an Actors Daily Bread episode, come to my YouTube channel. Just put Christine Horn in YouTube, and there are two over 200 and something videos. I've been doing this for years. Um, so if you have a desire to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love, how to balance all this craziness, you're gonna love Actors Daily Bread. So go ahead, you're welcome. My ones, you're welcome. <laughs> so let's get into it. Um, before I take a break, let me tell y'all something. My dog, if you're new to me, I have a big bull mastiff mix. He's back here, Prince. Um, he's over me. He's over me. He's over this launch. He's over Bookmore TV. He's over y'all. He's over Actors Daily Bread. He's over it. <laughs> he's over it. He's like, I need you to be done with all this in this room computer stuff. But let's dive in. So, you know, today I was actually, all jokes aside, I was um, I was talking to my coach. Um, Wednesdays are the, are the days that I, I work with my business coach. Shout out to Dallas Travers. And I was talking about, you know, even though I'm about to close the, the doors to book more TV, my brain is already on the next day. Well, how could I serve the people? It's pilot season. You know, what do they need? You know, like, I want to make sure I give them something. And she was like, just pump your brakes. She didn't say that. That was subtext. Um, but we started digging deeper into what it is that you really might need. Because I know a chunk of my audience, some of you are not, I'm like, yay, pilot season. But some of you are not even going to feel it in the way that you hear about it in the streets, right? So you hear about it, but you may not be there yet. Right, you may not even get a sprinkle of what pilot season offers until toward the very end when they're looking for some of the co some smaller co-star roles, maybe the smaller guest star roles. And I thought that was an important point. And I wanted to just share something that's very personal to me that I'm gonna be doing this pilot season in the midst of auditioning, coaching clients, book more TV, all of that. And that's the piece of advice I want to share with you tonight. It is a very simple yet complicated piece of advice because it's easier said than done. And before I even tell you what it is, here's why I'm going to share this with you. It's really easy and it doesn't matter if it's pilot season, episodic season, the summertime, winter, holiday. There's always going to be times where people are working more than you where people are getting more auditions than you, where you don't feel like you're doing the amount of work that you feel like you're capable of, for whatever reason, lack of access, right? Lack of good representation, whatever. We can fill in the blank. And the tip I'm gonna give you tonight is very simple, but complicated in that it's gonna require you to get past the mind chatter that's gonna come up as soon as I say it. So I'm warning you ahead of time. Now, if you haven't read my book, if you're new to me, I have a book out that's on Amazon and Audible called Playing Small, The Actor's Guide to Becoming a Booking Magnet. And I sh I'm bringing that up because it's all about mindset. Because sometimes, not just me, you can work with any coach, any guru, and they can give you amazing ideas and amazing strategies. But if your mind talks you out of that idea because, oh, what will people think? Am I going to look thirsty? Am I going to look desperate? Am I going to look green? I don't want people to judge me. 
all that stuff. Who do you think you are to do X, Y, and Z? Who's going to care about X, Y, and Z? Look, I know the stuff because that's the stuff that has gone through my head and still does. And it's a daily battle of putting on my armor to deal with that voice. We're not even talking about the external voices from family, friends, cousins, peanut and them who don't even know what the hell you're doing with your life. So here's my tip and something that I'm going to be working on myself starting uh, tomorrow. I've already put it out there to people in my core group, my accountability buddies, my coach. And here's the tip. Create. It's one word. Create. Those of you who recently coached with me in the past couple of weeks, I've been saying this to you. So this should be happening all year long, but especially so during pilot season, where there's all this hype that's created around these next three months we're about to come into, excuse me. <clears throat> and it can be really challenging when you are not experiencing the, the breakthroughs, right? You're not experiencing personally the opportunities that you hear, are, are hearing about. So my solution to that is to create. So this is the time. If you're like, man, if I booked a pilot tomorrow, I would love to play the role of blank. What is that character? What, it, like, what is that storyline? You know what I mean? So instead of hoping and praying, someone one day writes you a dream part, an epic part that would change your life. What if you wrote it? And then you, I can already hear, well, I'm not a great writer. Okay, well, what if you got with your girl who is a good writer? What if, what if you got with your homie who is a good writer? And y'all got together on it. You got your makeup artist friend who's always doing makeup, she does makeup. You got your friend who loves putting costumes together, he does costumes. Like, let's stop with the excuses and take, this is where we get to take control. This is where we get to take control. And there's no better time than during pilot season because we don't know. I'll be honest, my last pilot season for 2017 sucked. It, it was non-existent. I went out for like a couple of pilots. I booked during that time, but there were shows that were already on the air. And so what I decided for myself for 2020, I spent 2019 really in coach mode, writing my book, doing the audio book, prepping for an event in Atlanta, getting new clients. Like I was so like pouring into so many people. My mantra for this year, and I got this from my girl Savannah, is hashtag me first. So I'm going to pour into my clients. I'm going to do all that stuff, but me first. Hashtag me first, pay myself first. Because the more that I pay myself and pour into me, the more I will have to pour into you. And then lead by more example. What's up, Roxanne? What's up, Brittany Williams? What's up, Tamika? What's up, Ernest? What's up, Sheila? Right? Hey, Dawn Axon, Jordan, actor boy, Janice. Right? So that's just my one simple tip for you. And I want to prep this for you because this season can start to mess you up mentally. When you're like, it's pilot season. How come I'm not going out? And you're going to, and you can, mess up and spend so much energy trying to dissect and understand why you're not going out and what could it be and maybe you need new agents and but she's going out and we're the same type we can spend hours and days trying to dissect that i have decided and i would love for you to join me and let's put that energy into something else so that's you 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 me first i dare you to create something for yourself I don't care if it's a monologue, a series of monologues. One of my clients, shout out to Arisha Connor Frierson, who's not on right now. She'll probably catch the replay because I know it's late on the East Coast. She was like, I'm challenging myself to do 100 characters in 100 days. I said, okay, let's see it. Yes, me first. And there's something that's going to happen when you do this. It's that whole theory of work begets work. You start being so invested. Maybe you find time, those of you with day jobs, maybe on your lunch break, you go sit in your car or go to the break room and you're like brainstorming. You bring your notebook to work or you bring your laptop and you're like writing on your lunch break instead of just kikiing with everybody in the office. Like there is time. So I don't want to hear that there's no time. You are your number one priority. You matter most. So I know we got families and responsibilities and bills. <clears throat> Y'all, I've been talking so much this past week. Um, my voice is shot. <clears throat> but I just wanted to place that in your spirit because that is where I am. So y'all don't be surprised six months from now. Y'all be like, oh, Christine, oh, she got a new. I'm not even going to tell y'all what it is because I want you to join me. Do it too.
create something for yourself. And parents, I see some parents on here who have um, kids. You know, this shout out to Sabrina Owens, one of my clients for a long time. I pushed her, pushed her, pushed her. She to write something for her for her daughter to start in. And so she got to feed the, the screenwriter in her and her daughter got to start in it. Now their film is called The Bridge. You can find them on Instagram. It's been winning like awards and all these film festivals. It's just like, you just gotta just put yourself first and not wait. The waiting plan sucks. So as I step into this pilot season in Hollywood, you know, the stakes are high. And so what will make me feel like I'm doing something for me. So I just wanted to share that tip with you tonight. This again is Actors Daily Bread. If you've never seen one of these, come on over to my YouTube channel, subscribe and catch up. Binge, binge, binge. That's what most people do. So by the time we actually talk, you're like, I feel like I know you, Christine. Because <laughs> I've been watching your videos for months. Um, so yes, I just wanted to share that before I totally lose my voice. Welcome to all of you who are joining me in Bookmore TV. <clears throat> Facebook, you see this long list of names. Instagram, I'll show you that long list of names. Shout out to all you amazing actors who are joining me. We kick off on Monday and registration closes at midnight my time. So we have about um, less than four hours, I guess, about four hours to before the uh, doors close. So I'm so excited. Um, I'm nervous because I want to make sure I ex exceed all of your expectations, which is always my goal. I want you to book more TV if that's your desire. I don't care where you live. I don't care what your experience level is. I'm going to, listen, let me just say this too, whether you're joining me in this class or not. I think it's important to have a different layer of teachers in, as you work. I think it's very important to get in a group class wherever you live right? So like a group class where you're either, you know, studying some form of some technique, acting one-on-one or it's improv or it's Meisner or it's Chubbuck, right? Method, like, right? Get in something where you're around other people. And then I believe it's important to have a private coach, someone who you can, when you have those really big juicy auditions and you need coaching, breaking it down, someone you can go to one-on-one. -on -one. But then I, where I feel like I come in, which is why I'm sure some of you rock with me, is I like to bring a mix of um, reality <laughs> mixed with some technical aspects because I think some classes only focus on just the craft, like just being here, which is important. But if you don't know how you look on camera and what you're doing on camera and your angles and how to do self tapes and how to show up in person, how to dress for the part, like, there's so there's just pieces to it. So even my one-on-one -on -one clients, I'm like, no, get in a group class. All my most of my inner circle clients are in a group class of some sort. You need to be around other people and feed off people. And as actors, we never stop investing and we never stop learning. It just the we just change. We change coaches, we change studios, just like our headshots. We can't be like, I got headshots 30 years ago. What's the problem? Can't you use these? No, boo. <laughs> You ball now, sir. I need you to take new pictures. <laughs> uh, no shades of ball head man, because I love ball head men. Anywho, I'm going to go. I got to return a shower head to Home Depot because it broke. So I got to go do that. <laughs> um, thanks for hanging with me, you guys. Happy 2020. I will see you soon. Good night.